Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very interesting math question, you can easily see this question in the middle of the screen here. What do we have? We have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 minus 2 and we need to find our answer. So right now, let's pause the video and write your answer down into the comment section. What do you think is a correct answer? What do you think is a correct solution? We have option A, option B and option C. Write your answer down into the comment section because a lot of students solve this question absolutely incorrect, 90% solve this question absolutely wrong. So right now let's test our school knowledge, let's test our algebra skills and let's solve this question. So let's look at it. So 2 plus 2 divided by 2 minus 2. On the first side, very easy question. A lot of students might be saying, hey, mister, this is the easiest question I ever seen. We have only addition, division, subtraction. So it's not that hard. For example, let's start with addition. Let's start from, from the left side to right side. So we have 2 plus 2 equal to 4. And the next thing we have division by 2 and minus 2. Then once more from left to right, we have 4 divided by 2 equal to 2. And with this minus 2, so we have 2 minus 2, let's write it right here, and equal to 0. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, this is a correct answer, 0. We just solve this question from left to right. So addition first, division second, and subtraction third. So a lot of students might be saying that correct answer is, is option A. And I do want to tell right now that this is correct or incorrect. I want you to understand that in terms of math, we can't solve our question randomly. We can't do whatever we want like, like that. We just do addition first, we just do division second, subtraction third. And you know, it turns into a big argument because you do whatever you want, you solve this question absolutely chaotically, absolutely randomly. But in terms of mess, we need to know when we have like addition, division and subtraction, we need to know what is the correct order to perform these mathematical mathematical operations. Like we need to say that, for example, 100% uh, like addition first or division second or subtraction third. So we need to order all of this stuff. And for order this stuff, we need to know a really important part of math, a really important algorithm, a really important principles. Here you can see this is our order of operation because it looks like a correct answer. We solve this question, but what, did the, what about a correct answer? This is our solution but we are we're not sure that this is correct or incorrect. So right now let's look closely at this question and on the right side we have our PEMDAS order of operation. So right here let's look closely. Each of these letters stands for Thompson and this this is our order of operation. Maybe a lot of students know about about Bodmer's order of operation. Yeah and a lot of students know about this but to be honest PEMDAS and Bodmer's are absolutely the same orders of operation. So right now let's look closely what do we have in terms of like PEMDAS? Each of these letters stands for something and we go from left side to right side because on the left side we have the elements with the higher priority. So letter P stands for parentheses. Okay, we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses first. So we have these type of squiggly brackets, this type of this type of brackets. So we're talking about group and symbol. So whenever we have expression with parentheses, we need to evaluate it at first. And right now let's scan where do we have in our question? Where do we have parentheses? Let's look at it. I don't see any of those. So we can actually skip this part. We don't have parentheses. Really great. Right now let's go to the next step. The next step after parentheses is E. E stands for exponents. And don't be scared about this E. This is our power. So for example, we have 3 to the power 5, like 10 to the power 2. So we need to evaluate the expression. Where do we have these these powers? And let's look closely at our question. Where do we have maybe powers? Right here, let's look at it. I don't see any of those. We don't have any powers. For example, when we have right here 2, we need to evaluate this 2 square. Or we have right here 2 to the third, we need to evaluate it. In our case, we don't have exponents. After exponents, we go to the next step, we move forward to the next step. The next step is one group, this is multiplication and division group. I talk it right now in terms of like group because multiplication and division are tied for priority and importance and whenever we have a multiplication which includes like a multiplication division sign, we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division and we need to perform it in a strict order from left uh, from left to right. Here is our main thing, so I wanted to underline it that we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. So whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, we need to perform multiplication first. Because we have multiplication, the first sign from left from left to right. And whenever we have division multiplication mixture, we need to perform division first, okay, because we have mm, division first sign from left from left to right. So whenever we have 2 times 2 divided by 2, we need to perform multiplication first. Whenever we have 2 divided by 2 times 2, we need to perform division first, okay? And I hope you understand it. And our last step, but before going to the last step, right now let's scan, because we, right now we're scanning, we, we scanned it before in terms of parentheses, in terms of like in exponents. Right now let's scan where do we have multiplication, division sign, let's look at it. Uh, yeah, we have division sign right here. So the first step for our, for our question is to evaluate the expression with division sign. Yeah, we have division sign. We don't have multiplication sign. Yeah. 
And I want to show you a really interesting trick because how can we compare what it, the first mathematical operation, what is the second mathematical operation? Okay, we have division right here, but we st we have so a stands for addition. I want to write it, and s stands for subtraction. So we have addition right here, okay, and subtraction we have right here. So to be honest, if we look closely in terms of our order, we have d division, we have a addition, we have s subtraction. So it means that we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right, because on the left side we have higher priority, on the right side lower priority. So right now let's scan what first mathematical operators comes first from left to right. Of course, this D comes first from left from left to right. And in terms of mass, it's a really important rule, because multiplication division had the higher priority. So we need to perform a multiplication division first, then we need to go to addition subtraction, because right here, addition subtraction, you don't need this order of operation anymore, because we need to perform it like... In in a strict order from right to left, from right to left to right, doesn't matter because this is basic stuff. At this point, you don't need this order of operation. So right now, let's perform a division. As I told before, division comes first from left to right, so we need to Mm, perform it first uh, as mathematical operators, okay? Right here, it comes first from left to right. We don't have parentheses, we don't have exponents, we don't have multiplication, we have division. So right now, let's perform it because we, we have it, okay? So right now, what do we have? We have two... Uh, let's write it like that, okay, so we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 equal to 1 and minus minus 2, all right. So here's our expression, so we complete our division part, we complete it, we can easily be proud of ourselves, we complete our division part, and we move forward to the next step. The next step is addition and subtraction, and to be honest, this is the easiest one, because we don't need this order of operation at this point, we don't need to, we don't need to know how can we perform these mathematical operations, because this is basic addition subtraction, so we can easily perform it, for example, from left, from left to right, from right to left, so right here, what do we have, 2 plus 1 equal to 3, and 3, right here, we still have this minus 2, so 3 minus 2 equal to equal to 1. And in terms of PEMDAS, this is a correct a correct answer. So let's keep in mind this one, okay? So we solve this question according to this PEMDAS. PEMDAS order of operation helps us a lot, because right now we know about order of operation a little bit, and right now let's go look closely at our question in the beginning, so keep in mind that one is a correct answer. Right now let's go back to our question. But here, what you can see right here, we solved this question before and we said that correct answer is zero, but let's try to analyze our question, what we had in the beginning. So let me just all erase all of this stuff. At this quick example, we see division addition first addition first from left from left to right and it's not a good it's not a good thing. So whenever you want to perform addition first this question should looks like that. We need to have parentheses right here. And right now, a correct order is, of course, this one. So 2 plus 2 equal to 4. The next thing, we rewrite this expression. So 4 divided by 2 minus 2. So we have a division first. So 4 divided by 2 equal to 2. And minus this 2 equal to 0. So 0 is a correct answer with parentheses. Okay, extremely important part. Don't forget about this. So we need to put parentheses. And the correct answer is, is 0. Without parentheses, we need to perform it, of course, with the Bodmas order of operation or PEMDAS order of operation. But we can't do addition first without parentheses, okay? It, it's a very big mistake in terms of mass because in 99% of order of operation we need to perform division and multiplication. So the first thing, extremely important, division and multiplication part. And after that we need to perform addition addition and subtraction. Here is extremely important, important thing. So I want to underline it, the division multiplication first, then addition and and subtraction. So uh, I want to underline it once more because uh, a lot of students choose this option zero. This is a correct answer, of course, but with parentheses right here. Don't forget about this, that is this parentheses is extremely important part for our question. So if you want to solve this question like that, this is okay, but you need to review a little bit your basic math. To be honest, this is like not okay. Uh, if we if be clear, this is not okay, but with parentheses, correct answer is, is zero. So I want to underline this thing with parentheses and a correct answer is is zero but you need to review a little bit your basic math when you choose this option option a and you say that correct answer is zero zero is a correct answer with parentheses in our case we don't have parentheses so our correct answer is is one but we don't have this one right here this is a tricky moment okay and a lot of students might be saying okay we don't have one so i go back to this option a which is absolutely incorrect because zero factorial from school let's remember zero factorial equal to equal to 1, and as I told before, we have this one right here, which is absolutely correct, because we are talking about expression without parentheses, and this is exactly the expression that we need to solve. Okay, right here with parentheses, correct answer is 0, without parentheses, uh, correct answer is 
uh, uh, sorry, yeah, zero without with parentheses and without parentheses, correct answer is one, is zero factorial. So you can be easily be proud of yourself that you solve this question like that. You say that correct answer is zero factorial, everything is, everything is great. So uh, maybe there's like the third way how can we solve it, but here's the two most common mistake. The first one, this one, a lot of students say that zero, but zero is wrong. With parentheses, this is correct answer, with parentheses right here. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so let's look closely at our question. Here's our, uh, here's our question and here's our correct answer, because there's how our question looks like without parentheses, and the correct answer is is zero factorial true to our question with parentheses correct answer is zero so we really really hope you understand my explanation i really hope you understand my thoughts about this question because this is not that hard but maybe the key moment right here you can easily see in this point because division multiplication group is all the time before addition subtraction so first of all we need to perform we need to perform division multiplication at first in a strict order from left to right and then addition subtraction without order of operation because this is very basic very basic stuff so i really hope you understand my explanation i really hope you learned something new so definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong i want to say thank you for your support for your for your for your comments for your response it's really great like, like i'm not solving like a hard and complicated math question i'm solving the easy one with with a quick explanation like with it tricky question to be honest this is not that hard but i hope someone enjoyed it i really appreciate it when someone enjoyed this type of question i have a lot of questions on my youtube channel i have more than 100 videos on my youtube channel and i really hope you enjoy it a little bit it depends on you but i really hope you enjoy it if you don't you can easily write your your comments down into the comment section what do you want to see on my youtube channel and thank you everyone for your time wish you all the best in your life have a great day and see you in next videos. Take care of yourself and low mass. It's, it's great and not that hard on the first sight, yeah? But when you know a little bit about basic mass, this question is easy for you, okay? So thank you everyone for your time. Wish you all the best in life. See you in the next videos and have a great day.